After a long hiatus, we'd like to welcome you back to the Black and Gold Report. I'm Mr. Mech. And I'm Mr. Barrett. I'm counting count my money. I'm getting $3.14 so I can buy pie tomorrow. Pie? It's a yeah. math thing, dude. Not like pie's pies. It's like yeah. pie day, like math. So I can't just buy pie tomorrow for $3.14? No, dude. 3.14, like pie, like math. Well, that doesn't add up. All right, well, <laughs> so here we go. Yes, as Mr. Max said, we are back after a long hiatus from the Black and Gold Report, and we are basically going to do a, a little summary of the winter season and a preview of the spring season that is already upon us. The teams are already practicing, and some of the games are being moved around a little bit due to the weather and obviously the snow last week, um, but here we go. Yeah. Mr. Barrett, this is his first official Black and Gold Report as a member of the high school staff. We'd like to congratulate him for that. That sort of contributed to our little bit of a hiatus. Um, you know, I know we've seen a lot of you guys at these winter games and things like that. We've had a very successful winter season, most successful of which was our wrestling team, who had a great showing in the Del Val, an even better showing uh, at sections. And then, if you didn't notice, we hosted the district tournament, where, yes, one of our own, Eric Thomas, uh, he, he advanced through and won districts at his 138 pound weight class and then moved on to states. Yeah, it was, it was really impressive. Eric did a fabulous job and the even better news is he'll be back next year as a senior where a lot of the people in his weight class have moved on. So Eric, uh, you know, will hopefully do his proud next year at states the same way he did this year. As for our basketball teams, our girls basketball team was a powerhouse very early in the season. Uh, however, uh, they were decimated by injuries throughout. I mean, losing Brandy James, a senior leader, uh, you know, among other kids going in and out. Uh, Jody Boone Jr. in his first season did a very admirable job, and they missed the playoffs, uh, you know, just barely. Yeah. And uh, boys basketball, a little bit of a tough season. A lot of players in and out of the roster. Um, they had some big wins against Monsignor Bonner. They ended the season on a win against mm -hmm. Chichester. Yeah, played some of the better teams in the Del Valle, yeah. tough throughout. Yeah, Chester, I mean, they took Chester to the fourth quarter with yeah. nearly three minutes left and a four-point lead. So the boys' basketball team did perform admirably. Admirably, sorry. Got caught there. And uh, obviously our winter track team, uh, a lot – our cross country and our winter track and our spring track, there's a lot of carryover from season to season with those athletes. And uh, they, they once again mm -hmm. uh, proved to do a great job throughout the course of the winter. And here they are now getting ready for, for the spring. Hey, Mr. Kirk McGrady and Miss Werner in her first yep. season as the uh, winter track head coach, they did a fabulous job. And it is worth noting, Jeff Ebner, who was, our, uh, was honored by the PA Hall of Fame in the fall as a uh, you know, honoree in all of Pennsylvania as a scholar athlete. Uh, the track team, yes, they did it again in the winter. And Kelly Quang will be honored by the PA Hall of Fame next Tuesday at the Heritage Ballroom as a scholar athlete for the winter. So congratulations, Kelly. Uh, finally, our swimming team uh, also, yes, we do have a swimming team. Uh, they did very well at the Delval qualifiers. You know, they're highlighted by seniors by the name of Erica Scott, Coach um, Jenkins, Neva Jenkins, and Jimmy Jackson. They did a fabulous job with our swimmers, um, and you know they hope to continue the success next year. Yeah, didn't most, miss anybody from the winter, no, do we? No, yeah. most people don't realize that the swim program is done during the winter. It sounds, you know, like it's opposite, mm -hmm. but that's when it's done. Yeah. As for the spring, um, you know, scrimmages started this past Saturday, but with snow still on the ground um, from Thor or whoever came yeah. through most recently, um, you know, they haven't been able to get off. But yesterday, we did get some scrimmages games off. Our boys lacrosse team and our girls lacrosse team got started. Yeah, girls, uh, from what I hear, girls lacrosse, the JV team won. Mm -hmm. uh, and I... I think varsity lost, but you know it's just a scrimmage, yeah. and we're just you know literally getting our feet wet. Yeah, that um, was so which is obviously going to happen outside right now. Um, but it was a good, at least they got out. Yeah, that was the first time they were on a field. They've been in a gym, and the boys across uh, went up to Kennett yesterday for a play day where they went one and one um, and performed very well, according to Dimitri Smith, our uh, local um, you know uh, boys lacrosse guy on the scene. Um, as for baseball and softball, they haven't got out yet. They uh, do plan to get their season started next week, uh, respectively on uh, softball schedule for Monday, but uh, very doubtful we'll see that one play. Uh, baseball on Tuesday against Pencrest and softball on Thursday against Stoga before the regular season starts next Friday. And middle school uh, sports start officially on Monday. Uh, the schools have been notified about different tryout schedules and whatnot so check with your main offices if you still aren't aware uh, we will be tweeting it out as well uh, the different schedules mm -hmm. and for middle school we have softball 
baseball and girls across. Boys track, um, they do start next week's scrimmage game, that uh, scrimmage meet that has been moved to Interboro on Monday. Girls track is a scrimmage meet here on Tuesday, and their season kicks off the following week on the 25th for a co-ed, co-ed meet against Chai. Uh, I'm sorry, against Chester. Um, with all that said, um, you know, we don't really have any scholar, I'm sorry, uh, athletes of the week to honor with sports kind of being down for the past couple of weeks, but we would like to recognize our scholar athletes for the month of February. Yes, and for the boys' side, it was, once again, it was, we mentioned him earlier, uh, Eric Thomas won for the boys. And for the girls, it was Amber Hadell, both a, a three-sport athlete here. Amber is a volleyball player, girls' basketball player, and now, in the spring season, a softball player. So congratulations, Amber and Eric. Yep. Yeah, if you're not following us, eh? yeah, that's you, your line. <laughs> yeah, sorry, if you're not following us still after all this time, you can follow us on Twitter, at GoBucksports, and we are at GoBucksports on Instagram as well. With all that said, I'm Mr. Mech. And I'm Mr. Barrett. We'll see you at at the the game. game.